In this lesson, we want to explain the vegetation scatter tool. Once you are familiar with the plants in a library and their settings, we can use them for this tool. We go into the context section and then vegetation scatter tool. When we get to the tool, you can put all kind of plants like trees, grass, flower, even rocks on it. For example, we start from grass and select one of them with clicking and dragging and release on this area. In this tool, you can also use detailed grass. They are very high quality grass. As you can see, you can click and drag any of them. Now click on the add tool. You no longer need to select the diameter here because the methods of the uh, execution of this command is such that is apply vegetation on an object that are separated by clicking on them, which you must observe in your design. For example, these part, as you can see, are separate and we can put a vegetation, scatter vegetation on them. For example, the ground is separate and by <coughs> clicking on it, as you can see, the vegetation is applied and with each click its density increases if you want to reduce the density use remove by each click it remove the density and if you want to delete a part use the eraser in this tool you can change the diameter now Go into the edit menu and then preferences. Uh, in the grass fading section, you can set limited view of grass to the distance of the camera, the between the three modes near, medium and far. For example, if it is the far mode, the camera can be at the forest distance from the grass and the grass can be seen, which I like it. And it depends on the power of your system for your convenience for example if it is in a near just when the camera is in near of the grass it can be seen like uh, vegetation paint too okay let's go back to the tool <clears throat> now we can add a flower to the tool by choosing and clicking a dragon flower but in this tool you have to choose flower grass or any object that you drop in then click on add tool to add to ground as you can see you can add the flower so don't uh, don't forget to first select them you can even enter rocks as you can see, go into rocks, click in the right rocks. Then select the rock, rocks and by clicking you can do it. Or you can remove it. You can also add trees, go into tree, very easy. By clicking on any object that you imported, its sitting will be appear in the sitting section. The important point is that in order to their sitting to be appear, you must exit common tools. For example, be on a translate tour. And now the sitting will appear. For example, you can go to the sitting of trees, grass. That will be teach you in the previous lesson. You can refer them. And very simple, by clicking on this area, in this arrow, you can go back, as you can see. Another point is that when you use this tool, a layer created for this tool in the scene manager. So whenever you want to go back to the tool and it's sitting, just simply click on it. Or click on scatter tool in the scene, inside the scene. To create a new layer or new scatter tool, exit selection, select, click for example in the air to deselect and go into the context and select scatter common again. 
In this case, you can apply new comment to the new tool. For example, we choose a grass and click on this yard to scatter the grass here. As you can see in the scene manager, these are two of them. By, by clicking, you can choose between. Okay. For example, going back to the grass sitting. In the size section, you can change the size of the grass. In team, you can change the color. In the dryness, you can determine how dry or wet grass is. And in the stripe, you can create grass like football ground. That I will be teach you this lesson teach in a previous lesson. In a more, for example, section, you can enter more sitting to a stripe and change scale and angle. And use this arrow and environment to return to the main tool. On each object, as you can see, there are two options inside it. Delete, when you click on these three dots, or go to library, for example, when you are in a tree library and you want to add another grass in a tool, simply go and click to go to library mode. The software open the grass section for you. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.